Good evening once again. I'm Chris Jansing. In for Stephanie Rule. There are developments tonight in the war in Ukraine, which is about to enter its third month, and we'll have details on that in just a moment. But first, we begin tonight with Donald Trump's response to that leaked audio of House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy saying he would urge Trump to resign in the days after the January 6th riot. Trump told The Wall Street Journal tonight his relationship with McCarthy is not damaged. The Journal reports, quote, Trump said he wasn't pleased to learn of Mr. McCarthy's comments in the House leadership call, but he said the California Republican had never ultimately advised him to quit. He said that Mr. McCarthy quickly changed his stance when he found out the facts and embraced him fully a few weeks after the January 10th, 2021 call. The Wall Street Journal goes on to report, quote, I think it's all a big compliment, frankly, Mr. Trump said of Mr. McCarthy and other Republicans who initially criticized him after January 6th and then said they would still support him. They realized they were wrong and supported me. NBC News reports that one person close to Trump said McCarthy called the former president and apologized. And earlier tonight, we heard from Kevin McCarthy himself. Congressman, uh, have you spoken with President Trump recently? Did you speak with him last night? I know. I spoke to him twice today. I just spoke to him an hour ago. How was your conversation? Uh, did you talk to him about uh, the New York Times report and the conversation you had about the Oh, the conversation is very good time? because the conversation here is what they <laughs> What they said we did, we never did. I mean, I, I never asked President Trump to resign. Uh, we both talked about that. Uh, we've talked you about... with him about resigning? No, let me be very clear. You're mis... I have never asked the president to resign. So what the book um, said was not true. I never asked the president to resign. Um, we talked about the ability to win the majority back in Congress. We should point out the book, This Will Not Pass, says that on a January 10th call with House GOP leaders, quote, he envisioned telling Trump of an impeachment resolution. I think this will pass, and it would be my recommendation you should resign. The authors of that book, Alexander Burns and Jonathan Martin, shared even more of that January 10th call. I've had it with this guy. Uh, what he did is unacceptable. Um, nobody can defend that, and nobody should defend it. Liz Cheney, who was then part of Republican leadership, and Steve Scalise were both on that call. They deny recording or leaking that audio. The Times reporters also released part of a January 11, 2021 phone call, during which McCarthy tells the full Republican caucus that Trump admitted some responsibility for the attack on the Capitol. Let me be very clear to all of you, and I've been very clear to the president. He bears responsibilities for his words and actions. No ifs, ands, or buts. I ask him personally today, does he hold responsibility for what happened? Does he feel bad about what happened? He told me he does have some responsibility for what happened. Um, and he needs to acknowledge that. Now, in tonight's interview with The Wall Street Journal, Donald Trump was asked about those comments, saying, quote, no, that's false. I never claimed responsibility. Meanwhile, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene testified for nearly four hours today during an extraordinary hearing stemming from a lawsuit to keep her from running for office. That suit was filed by a group of Georgia voters, accusing her of being involved in the insurrection, disqualifying her, they say, from being in Congress. She has denied that accusation. But during today's testimony, she seemed unable to remember many of her actions. I don't remember. Okay. So you're not denying it. You're just saying you don't recall. I don't recall. I'm not answering that question. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't recall making that tweet. I don't know anything about this. I've never seen it before. 